Hi, good morning, everyone. This is Chandra. Myself, uh, I'm the Oracle Fusion Cloud Supply Chain Management Functional Architect here. And this demo session is about Oracle Fusion Cloud Supply Chain Management uh, Functional. We are from RTL Online Trainings and Placements, based out in Hyderabad as well as in Bangalore, providing the real-time trainings as well as the interview preparations and also the placements in all Oracle Cloud technologies. Please subscribe for our channel, RTL Online Training, to get the latest updates about Oracle Cloud technologies. Now we are going to have three demo sessions here. Demo one. Today we are going to talk about uh, what is cloud? What are different cloud companies we have? What is Oracle Cloud? Then what is uh, Fission Applications? Then what is Fission Applications Supply Chain Management? What are the jobs we will find over here? What is Supply Chain Management Syllabus? For this, we are going to talk about here. We are going to talk about all this today. And then we will have an uh, application introduction. And as functional consultant, roles and responsibilities that we are going to discuss in the demo one. And we are going to have three demos today tomorrow and day after tomorrow. In the tomorrow session, we'll take one real-time assignment, how it can be performed. Because we go for before one assignment performing, we should have basic idea and we should be very clear what is what. Then we can do that. And uh, Wednesday, we will have the implementation process, how we do the implementation, how the implementation project will be done, that we'll be discussing. From Thursday onwards, our regular sessions will be started. Our class timing will be 8.30 a.m. IST to 9.30 a.m. IST. This course duration will be two months. This course duration will be two months. In these two months, we are going to discuss complete uh, our syllabus. And uh, we'll be providing you the server access for six months for practice. And we'll provide you every video through Google Drive, you can go for download. And after that, you can go for uh, practice this. And we'll be creating a WhatsApp group for communication. I am also the part of the WhatsApp group. In case if you are having some doubts, I'll be able to clarify on this part. And after this completion of training, if you are looking for placement in India, so you can communicate with our coordinator and placement charges are applicable for that. And a lot of companies are approaching us regarding the pressures also. So when the organizations are looking for pressures, we'll also provide you the opportunity to participate in the interviews and get hired. Okay. So during my explanation, if you have any doubts, uh, just ping me or you have an option, raise hand in your uh, Zoom link. Just click on that so that I'll unmute. Then we can have communication. Or after 15 minutes, we can have a discussion over here. So the first one is, what is cloud? So nowadays, the organizations, when they are maintaining the softwares, so far, if we look at last 30 years, every client is having their own servers and maintain their servers 24 by 7. They used to recruit the DBS. They used to provide the administrators. 24 by 7, they used to take care of it. And they used to upgrade according to the application or requirement as well as the business requirement. They used to upgrade their servers, softwares, and everything. But if we look at last 10 years, most of the clients have started moving the applications to the cloud environment. So cloud is nothing but a virtual server. Cloud is nothing but a 
virtual server. So I don't want to maintain my own server. If anyone is there to maintain uh, the servers, I'm ready to take the server for rental purpose. I can use their servers and make the payment. Like how we are using this YouTube? Are these videos are available in our laptop? No. Is these videos are available in our servers? No. It's available in the YouTube servers. We do not know where exactly they have established the servers, in which data center they have established the servers, in which country they have established their servers, we do not know. We are just trying to upload our content and we are trying to access other uh, YouTubers' content through internet with security. We are able to get it everything through security. Same thing Gmail. So we are going to have the Google Drive here. And we are trying to upload all our videos or documents and other information into the Google servers. Where this server is located, we do not know. It's a Google servers, right? It's nothing but a cloud. If the information is not available in your laptop, if the information is not available in your server, then it's indirectly available on some other company's server. That is called cloud. So this information, all your videos and documents are available in the Google server, indirectly Google Cloud. And whatever the videos you are accessing through YouTube, it's not available in your local machine or in your server. Indirectly, it's a YouTube servers. Okay. So cloud is nothing but a virtual servers. Virtual servers. It's a hardware concept. Okay. So how we can go for maintain our uh, servers multiple servers is the companies will go for establish data centers across the world. Across the world, the organizations will maintain the data centers. In that data centers, they will configure the servers. We can connect to those servers through internet. You make sure that you have a valid internet connectivity and then you can go for enter the URL here. Like this, they'll provide as a valid URL and credentials. Through this, you are going to access all your applications across the world anywhere. Just you need internet. You don't need any other uh, setups uh, requirement for this particular access. Okay, so that's what the cloud. So the advantage with the cloud is 24 by 7, that cloud company, whoever is providing the services, they'll take care of your application maintenance. And if you are going to maintain the server, for example, you are getting $100 per year expenditure, just for example, then if you are going for the cloud, then it will be just $80 simply. $80 you can save, I'm sorry. Only $20 or $30 expense. 80%, 70 to 80% of the cost you can save and also secured. One time if you upgrade your application, then you don't need to go for upgrade your application, the cloud company will take care of the upgrading the applications. Okay, so upgradations and migrations will be very easy if you are in the cloud environment. Okay, that's why most of the clients nowadays, they have started moving from the on-premises to cloud environment. On-premises to cloud environment. So what is mean by cloud? Cloud is nothing but a virtual servers. If instead of maintaining our own servers, we wanted to utilize some other servers on rental basis, and that company will take care of 24 by 7 our applications. So if you are using your applications from your server, then we call it as an on-premises. If you are using other servers on rental basis, then it's a cloud environment. Okay, it's basically cloud is a uh, hardware concept, cloud computing. Okay, there will be a cloud computing architects who will take care of who will take care of this entire layers and other things. Okay. Next, what are different cloud companies we have in the market? We have AWS, Amazon Web Services, Amazon Web Services, we have, and we have Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Azure, it's a Microsoft company. Azure Cloud, and then we have Google Cloud, then we have Oracle Cloud, then we have Salesforce, 
then we have workday like this there are number of cloud companies across the world established but major cloud is aws azure and google and oracle this salesforce and workday they got only their erp as a cloud they got only their erp as a cloud they are not having different uh, facilities which are available in the cloud we'll talk about that in our next topic what are different features available in the cloud environment these are the different cloud companies so what these companies are doing they are doing the cloud business nothing but providing the servers on rental basis to the clients whenever client want to upgrade their server they can upgrade if they don't want to utilize that much of server capacity they can go for degrade whatever the server capacity they are using like bandwidth only for that you can they can go for make the payment if they are if they are not using the servers it means if their employees are on leave they are not using the application then no need to go for make the payment pay on use it means whatever the use is you are done based on that you can go for make the payment that facility also is available so basically cloud is complete flexible it's not only the cost point of you if the organization wants to in upgrade their applications or server capacity if the bandwidth are highly required immediately they can do that they don't need to worry about uh, much uh, configurations and other things so it is not possible in on premises it is going to be a very expensive and time taking and risky also it is in on premises okay so these are companies who are doing the cloud business in the market number one amazon web services aws and the second one is microsoft azure second one and the third one is google google cloud okay and the fourth one is oracle cloud so oracle also started business cloud uh, around i think 10 years back they have it 2014 okay uh, now they are good you know they are almost in the cloud environment in the third position competing with aws and azure okay and uh, salesforce and workday we don't need to talk about much in the cloud business but cloud erp business we can talk about them but in the cloud business we have nothing to talk about because they are not in that area this that much they have their own cloud erps they are not ready to give their servers for rental if you say i am using some dotnet application so far i am maintaining my own server it's very difficult for me to maintaining my own server it's a risky and also it is expensive for me it is very difficult for upgrade and expansions i wanted to use someone else's server i want to use cloud then salesforce and workday is not in the race then who are in the race these companies are available these companies are available these companies are providing the servers to the clients to keep their applications in their servers and start using those applications okay so amazon web service microsoft azure google cloud and oracle cloud aws has got around 42 data data centers across the world across the world 42 data centers they have microsoft azure they have around 38 i think so. maybe one or more lesser oracle google is not that much because their business itself they got more so they are not that much competitor in the business applications point of view okay so we can talk about only three that's aws azure and oracle oracle has got 34 data centers across the world in india itself oracle has got two data centers one data center is in hyderabad another data center is in mumbai first data center it was in mumbai hyderabad they have established in 2022 okay so why the companies are going to establish uh, their data centers in every country or every region uh, as just now we discussed data centers contains the servers high configuration servers those servers are used to maintain the business applications even if your clients are using single application or multiple applications with some lacks of users at a time log into the applications but still your server should provide the flexibility stability is required right so in that scenario we will be maintaining the high-end servers so these servers will be established in the data centers we'll call it as a data centers you might have seen microsoft is going to open the data center in Hyderabad. Amazon AWS is going to open data center in Bangalore. 
So what exactly they do is in the data centers, they are going to establish the servers and they are ready to give that servers as a rental basis to the customers. That is what actually the concept behind the data centers. Okay, so why every company is going to open the data center in the country is some client says that I'm doing a business in my country and all my customers, suppliers, banks and uh, employees are there in my country. If you say that this data is uh, stored in somewhere else in another country, I may not be able to interest to use your servers or your cloud. I'm not interested to use your cloud because uh, uh, let's say uh, we house Birla Sun Life Insurance. Birla Sun Life Insurance is uh, Birla Sun Life Insurance. It's one of the insurance based company. Okay. Is one of the insurance based company. Let's say they have some 2 lakhs customers. 2 lakhs customers uh, associated with this company. And they have around 20, 25,000 employees having around 40 to 50 branches in India. All their operations are within India. They don't have business across the world, only one country in India. So now they wanted to maintain the cloud. So it's difficult for them to maintain all their business applications uh, in their on-premises servers. They decided to use the cloud. But obviously the stakeholder as a company directors, they, they don't want to use some other country. So if Oracle comes to Birla Sun Life Insurance and says that, why don't you use our servers? Uh, because our servers are faster, secure, and highly scalable. You can easily migrate your applications, upgrade your applications. And our cloud also has got number of tools and products where you can build your products and where you can use my products to maintain all your business and online or offline and in a proper uh, manner. Then the next question the client will ask, where your servers are established? Where your data center is established? Is it in India or Singapore or Malaysia or in US or UK or Europe? Where exactly? If they say that, yes, we established the servers in Singapore or in Europe, but we are somewhat interested in case if your data center is there in India. Due to security point of view, in future, if they want to face some legal issues or any other reasons, if it is on local uh, country, then as per that legislation, statutory rules, the organizations will go through, right? So that's why almost all the clients will try to have their uh, business data in the same country servers, not in some other country's data centers. That's the reason every cloud company has started establishing the data centers in every country across the world to attract the local customers and give the you know, security or confidence that yes, your, your, your data is uh, available in India itself, in our data center. It's always secured and as per Indian government, I, I have to follow the rules and regulations, right? So that's, that's the reason the companies have started establishing the data centers in every country. So Oracle is in third place, uh, having number of data centers across the world when we talk about uh, the different uh, cloud companies, AWS, Azure, and Oracle. Okay. So this is about different cloud companies which we have. Then what is Oracle Cloud and what it contains? So we talked about cloud. So the cloud is nothing but virtual servers, which are located in data centers. How we can connect to those servers? Through internet only. We will give the URL and give the credentials and login and perform. How we use Facebook or YouTube or Gmail or Instagram or LinkedIn, the way you are using, same your client business applications also, we will be using through the cloud environment, which is flexible, our client, Employees, suppliers, customers can access their business data across the world anywhere just having an internet connectivity from any device. In case if they want a restricted device also, of course, let's say a company has uh, uh, distributed 10,000 laptops to their employees, only that laptops, this application should work, not uh, other laptops. Yes, flexibility is there up to the client if they want to restrict IP address wise, device wise and uh, Single sign-on, it's up to the client how they wanted to go for establish. So if the client says that, yes, I'm interested uh, into your cloud, but I'm not only using your uh, servers, I want to use your tools or products which are available in your uh, servers. 
So what tools you have? What products you have? If you have some good tools, I'm ready to use those tools and build the product and sell to my customers. Or I can use myself those products, reporting products or uh, business application, financial products, analytic products like that. Or if you have already product, I'm ready to customize or migrate or extend and use that particular product. Okay. So when it comes for Oracle Cloud, there are a number of products and tools in Oracle Cloud. We know that Oracle is the number one database. So Oracle database is there. And we have BI reporting tool. And we have OAC, Oracle Analytics Cloud tool. And we have VBCS, Visual Builder Cloud Service. We have JCS, Java Cloud Services. We have DBCS, Database Cloud Services. And we have OACS, Oracle Integration Cloud Services. And we have NetSuite, it's one of the ERP. And we have Fusion Applications. And we have another ERP. And we have EBS, eBusiness Suite, it's one of the old ERP. And we have some other tools like uh, blockchain with Oracle and artificial intelligence, machine learning and uh, automation and uh, UI path with tool. Like this number of tools and products available in the Oracle Cloud. So if client wants to go ahead with the tools, they can go with the tools and build their products according to their requirement. If client says that, no, I don't want your tools. I want your products. Yes, the products are available. If client says that I don't want your tools, I don't want your products because already I have my business products. I have already developed my business applications in Java, .NET, and PHP and some other. Okay, no issue. You can go for uh, only cloud subscription. It means you can take only server for rental, install all your applications, and start using the applications. Whatever the application uses you have done, make the payment only for that. Whenever you are interested, or if you like that, then go for use my tools and products. Otherwise, just use my servers and establish your business applications and start use my applications. Okay, nowadays TikTok is using Oracle Cloud. TikTok is using Oracle Cloud. Uber is using Oracle Cloud. Recently, Nokia has moved into Oracle Cloud. So we know that TikTok is one of the number one uh, this video streaming options. So they don't maintain any business data. They'll maintain their videos, right? So obviously, some millions of customers across the world, they'll be accessing the application. Oracle is providing that facility to them. So it's a very good, uh, secured and safe and stabilized servers available with Oracle. Okay, so Oracle has given the business to the customer, says that I'm ready to give the server, server with tools, server with tools and products also. It's option to you whether you wanted to go with the only server, server with tools or server with tools and products. Okay, so those, those are available here, but we don't find that facility in Salesforce or in Workday or in SAP. SAP also has got SAP also has got uh, the cloud, but SAP does not have this facility. So these all three companies are cloud ERP companies. They are ready to provide only their product as a cloud like this. If you say that, do you have any tools in your cloud? I want to build the products. They say that no, we don't have. Okay. So do we have only servers? No, we don't have servers to utilize that. But we have our cloud ERP. You can go for subscribe and start using our cloud applications. That's what they say. That is. Okay. So this is about uh, the cloud and different cloud companies. And what is Oracle Cloud? These are the three different uh, uh, topics which we have discussed. Very basic concept when we talk about Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management or Oracle Fusion, because still we have not entered into the Fusion Applications topic. This is basic concept. It's required for everybody. What is cloud? What are different cloud companies are available in the market? So what is Oracle Cloud? And whenever any client says that I wanted to move my business data to the cloud, what they think, what they'll ask the cloud companies and what services they have, what tools they have, what products they have. That's a basic what we have discussed. Here it is. Okay. 
Thank you.